got some line coach, Larry Martin, uh, questions for Coach Martin? I guess how's camp kind of progressed with your unit where you have a lot of younger guys and yeah. experience? Uh, they're working hard and uh, basically executing all the techniques, scheme, everything we ask them. They're improving every single day, uh, which I've been very pleased with uh, from the spring uh, to summer conditioning until now they've taken huge, huge strides and I'm pretty happy about it. You have a few freshmen who look like they grew up in the strength program. Yeah. And it's pretty amazing to see how, were you surprised to see how big they were when you guys got to camp? No, no, because one thing we knew about them when, during the recruiting process is their work ethic. So we knew that once we put them in a situation to work with Coach Corrala and that strength program and that strength staff, I knew that they would be just fine. And they got a long way to go, obviously, but you see by the, the steps that they've taken just that quick that uh, they'll be just fine in the future and they'll continue to progress. Have you been able to develop quality depth since the spring moving up to the through the camp? Uh, absolutely. Um, we got guys that's uh, still working their way above the line. We got a lot of guys that's, um, that's worked their way there and that, that's continuing to do so. Uh, so we do feel good about um, having enough guys to be a rotate. You know, D-line is that position where you got to have guys that can rotate in because especially with these spread offenses nowadays, you, know, you got to have guys that's able to rotate in. So feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about where guys have progressed to during camp. Yeah. Since the spring game. Very, very explosive. Yeah. Very explosive. Um, he's uh, trying his best to be a leader. He's taking everything that, that I've been teaching him, that Coach Collins has been teaching him, that Coach Thacker has been teaching him. And he's been applying it and, and trying to bring his teammates along with him. And the thing about him is he's playing hard uh, for himself, but he's not just playing for himself. You know, as you know, Big B was his best friend. So he continues to try to do everything in honor of him as well. So I think that's what's driving him more than anything else. I noticed Antoine walking around with you today. Mm -hmm. uh, is that what you like your, your guys to do when they're not practicing, to you know be right there and see what's going on? Yeah, uh, coach has something that, that they do, uh, but um, I asked, could he, could he come along with me? So I, he, he's one of those that he's very, very hungry. So he wants to continue to learn, continue to see things. So uh, yeah, he, he gets a chance to, uh, to stay with me so he can continue to learn and uh, see the techniques and make sure he executes right. the schemes mentally uh, for his time. What was the decision that led the most about how Brandon would pass in training? He's huge. <laughs> 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 he's huge. The cool thing about it, he, he's, he still runs like a defensive end, which is super cool, right. you know, but he's so big. Um, so we wanted to we wanted to go ahead and start training him up uh, early while he's young, you know, and um, let him take those bumps and bruises that you're going to get, you know, when you're playing on those trenches. You know, that's a whole different animal playing in there. Uh, but he'll be just fine. We're very, uh, we're very excited about him and his future. Seems to have a long way to come working in both mm -hmm. coverage and extra. Yeah, yeah, he does. But he, he learns so quick. Mm -hmm. Like you tell him something one time, twice at the most, and he has it. Mm -hmm. You know, which is which is good to see uh, with young guys. And and Dallas is the same way. You know, uh, you coach him up on something, you show him the film. The older guys help, and they take it and, and they they apply it right away. And that 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 shows you that they'll they'll progress fairly quickly. Do you have a number in mind in terms of guys you would like to have ready for a game? Like if it's six um, or five? I don't have a number in mind, but I'm, I'm working to get as many above as possible. Uh, the success we had at the last place, uh, we had, uh, I can't even remember, we had multiple guys that rotated on that interior sure. and other places I've coached in the past. I mean, uh, one of the places I was at, we led the country in sacks and CFLs, and we played 14 defensive linemen every single game. Wow. You know, so. Uh, I believe in that. You know, I believe in having a great rotation of guys. If you practice um, well, get yourself above the line. If you practice well during that week, the guys that practice the best during the week play the most. And we just keep rolling. Just keep on rolling. Do you like the chemistry of two guys together or doing the double subs? Or um, I, I, like, I like to mix guys in because you never know what can happen. Um, obviously, some guys complement each other very well, so we try to see who works well together. But you never know when an injury is going to happen or, or something is going to happen where you might have a guy that has to play with another guy. So um, I just try to mix them up, I mix and match, put them all in there together, put this guy with that guy for communication purposes, for whatever reasons it may be. We always try to make sure I put different guys together. Do you feel that Jahazel is a keeper at defensive tackle? Absolutely. Absolutely, but he's going to help us in multiple ways. Um, he's going to help us on that side. He's going to help us on the other side of the ball. Uh, he has a great attitude. Um, the, I love everything about him. You know, he's a, he's a great person, a uh, great football player. I think he, I'm excited about his. I think he's going to play his best year of football this year. How do you split his time in practice between uh, the regular 
Uh, Coach Collins. <laughs> 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 Get the nose. How's TK coming along in terms of uh, like his development? He's very, very consistent. Uh, I, w I would have to say he's been one of the, the most consistent guys. It's when you cut on the film, you know what you're getting. You know, when you cut on the film, you know what you're getting. And uh, he has a little attitude to him. He got an extra little edge to him, which I love. You know, because you have to. You're taking on 600 pounds of person, <laughs> you know, a lot of times, a lot of plays. So you got to have a different mindset. And I like that about him. Um, I like his approach to every single day. And like I said, when, when I cut that film on, I know what I'm going to see out of TK every single day. With Digimon, he's a guy that, obviously not a scholarship guy, but certainly plays like one in practice, you guys. How, how grateful are you to have him? He like does. I love having him in the room. I love having him in the room. And uh, shout out to he's from the CSRA, so he's from uh, you know from my hometown area, you know, and he he plays with that toughness. Uh, my my college roommate was went to the same high school, and those guys, another one of my teammates went there as well. And those guys are wired different. They come through a very tough weight program, uh, tradition laden program down in Washington County. So uh, those guys are wired a little different. Uh, so don't don't be surprised if he's the guy that you see um, making his way above the line because he's worked so hard and and he deserves every bit of it, you know. So. Um, if he continues to progress, he'll have a very, very good chance of doing so. Could you see that you guys playing both sides of him in one game? You say, could I? Yeah. Oh, you must all know who Coach Collins is, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we, hey. Oh, yeah, he'll do it. Yeah, yeah Coach will do it. You know, we got guys that, that just got drafted recently that we had a running back that played the end, a receiver that played it. Uh, we had receivers playing corners. So, yeah, we'll, we'll absolutely do it, definitely. That's, I mean, I would think that's a tougher double just given how physical both positions are. Yes, but if we have enough guys above the line, which I think we will, uh, we have enough guys above the line, we'll be able to help with the rotation uh, to keep too many, uh, so it's not too many reps on them, you know. Uh, and and of course that's going to be based off of how coach wants it to, you know, wants it to roll. Uh, but position flexibility is huge in this program, and you know it's it's not just recruiting talk, you know. It's, we tell kids that hey, it's guys that that's in this program that play this side of the ball and this side of the ball as well as special team, mm -hmm. and. You cut on the film, you see it. So it's not just it's not just talk at all. He'll, he's definitely gonna do it, and he'll be able to execute at a high level as well. What do you need to see from Quan Griffin to get him uh, to get above the line? He, uh, he got to uh, continue to use his quickness um, as he does. Uh, be uh, technique sound. Uh, he needs to be sound on his assignments. Um, he always approaches every day with a great attitude. Um, he has to continue to improve his effort as well. Um, he's he's doing some good things, and um, I'm, I'm excited about him as well. Where's Tay kind of fitting? Uh, try, uh, trying to be a great leader, trying to be a better leader every single day. That's what I've been uh, most proud of him. He's a very powerful individual, uh, plays with good leverage, uh, strong hands and all that. But he's trying his best to um, improve his leadership traits because now it's, it, it's his turn. You know, when, when you're an older guy, you know, you have to be able to, you know, help take over the room. You know, and I tell my guys all the time, we're not going to be a coach coach the room. We're going to be a player coach the room. So, um, I hold those guys accountable, the older guys accountable for things, and, and they've taken it very serious, and he's been the main one uh, to do so, and it's showing in this play as well. Who are some other guys who, who kind of lead this room? Who are the, the guys in the room that you said? You said it's leading the room? Yeah. They, they're trying to do it together, but um, I, I, I put a lot on the older guys, mm -hmm. you know, so I put a lot on Tay G. Um, I, I put a lot on uh, Jahazel, you know. Chris just automatically has it, you know, so – uh, he, 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 he's, he's a little more vocal, you know, and even Twan is so important to Twan. I don't think there's nobody on this team that the success of this team um, and his unit and his position group uh, is more important to, to them than him. Like everything, everything he does is so important to him, you know, and, and, and you, you can see it in everything that he does. So there's a lot of guys that's, that's trying to do that. So we're just trying to train them all up and, you know, the, the more guys that can lead and spread the message and, and the effort that we're looking for, the better. Mm -hmm. Um. So it was based off of practice. So it could be a guy that had a good week of practice one week and played a lot, and he didn't practice well the next week. Uh -huh. You don't feel as comfortable putting him in there. Like, hey, this is how you perform this week. Uh -huh. So it causes that particular person to be limited. You know, um, if they are if they are practice well, you just put it on a, a nice little rotation based on the flow of the game, um, how long a series may be going, 
uh, what type of packages you may be using, especially with what type of offenses and things may be ran by um, by that particular team that you're playing against. So it, it's a lot of varying factors that go into it. But again, those guys that are above the line, they play. And the amount that you play is based on how you perform during that week of practice. Do you like the game of field hockey now? Like, uh, mm -hmm. and able to kind of, it seems like particularly with your group where you're trying to make changes on the fly real mm -hmm. fast to get a man out. Yeah. That would be helpful um, for your group. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, um, I like to be able to, uh, I like to be able to feel the game. Um, I also like to be able to grab those guys, talk to them. And sometimes you have to go through some technique adjustments on the, on the sideline as well. So sometimes I make, make good, grab them off the bench and, hey, let's go through this. Hey, you, you missing when you're throwing your hands or you taking this bad footwork or this, that, and the other. So um, I do like to be down there to be able to do that. So uh, one more for Coach. One up.